So we had a question about something in Martinez, uh, about a circle in his book, Negative Math. This happens between page four and five. And so circles have a diameter or a distance across and a circumference, which is a, a distance around, like all the way around the circumference. And the usual idea that, that we have from school is that it is, of course, farther around than it is across, and that this ratio is the same always between the two. Um, and that we call that number pi. Now what Martinez says is um, that uh, starting on page four, likewise there's no physical experiment, no measuring device that would maintain a numerical measurement under whatever circumstance will yield an imaginary number. The same is true for rational numbers. For example, no matter what seemingly phys circular physical object you choose to measure, by trying to fit its diameter several times into its circumference, you don't actually get pi. You might get a number that's close to pi, something that he says, uh, to be sure you may obtain a number resembling pi, such as 3.14158. And depending on how closely you're measuring a thing, you know, maybe your measurements actually go to this many decibel places. Maybe you're measuring this circumference down to the millimeter. Um, but the point is, in real life, in finite life, you have to stop at some point. Your accuracy cannot be infinite. And this is true for woodworkers in different ways than it is for, like, uh, physicists, let's say. But in, in any sort of aspect of our, our real life, you always get a number here that ends. We don't get a number that, if we write out its decimal... It just keeps going, 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 going. And I don't even know if those digits are right because they're essentially random, so why bother remembering them? Um, anytime you actually carry a measurement out in real life, you'll never get an irrational number. You'll never get a number that can never finish being written down. Um, so same thing goes. Anytime tells you that something is the golden ratio. Golden ratio is not 1.618. It's an irrational number that keeps going. And so the idea of measuring something and getting that. Likewise, the square root of 2 is a number that keeps going. And so you'll never actually see it in nature. Um, so yeah, I don't know. Hopefully that sheds a little light on that. Uh, further conversation is welcome. Uh, we had talked a little bit before, too, even about whether we can say that such numbers exist or not. Uh, one bar for existence would be, can you go out in the world and find it? Uh, the unicorn fails that, and seemingly these numbers do too. All right.